Good sir, have you ever wanted to have a place to rest your weary head as you traverse this great and mysterious world? Then have we got the data pack for you! Hello again, Scott Mike here, and today in our data pack showcase, what do we have? Well, I come to you with yet another data pack that is really, really awesome. This one, this one's pretty cool. This one, I like this one a lot. I, I want to use it. I probably won't get, um, be able to use it on the servers that I play on because it's, it's a little too cool for some servers, uh, because, well, well, you'll see, you'll see. It is... Travel Tents by I'm a Little High. And um, what's a travel tent? Well, a travel tent is a really, really cool thing that basically as you're traveling along, you know, you don't have a lot of storage on you. You don't have a place to sleep. You put a bed down and it's, you know, you can sleep there, but, you know, your inventory is limited. So, yeah, travel tents kind of alleviates that problem. And, well, we'll just see. We'll see. Okay, so right here, this is your crafting Recipe. So you get your uh, your two string, your wool, could be any color of wool, two logs, any kind of logs, bed, any color, two lightning rods, and a barrel. So I'm just going to grab that stuff right here. And we're going to put it in our little crafting area. That goes here. And that goes here. That goes there and there. And we get ourselves a knowledge book. And right here we have our own tent. Now, you can use this on multiplayer servers. Everyone has their own tent. You just have to keep them, you know, slightly separated from each other, but it is locked to the player. So uh, all we have to do now is just throw it on the ground, and it's going to show us where the tent is going to go with these handy-dandy little particles. And if we pick it up, they go away, and we don't, you know, we don't pitch the tent, but here we go. Pitch tent, now we're just going to go over here, right-click it, bam! There is our little tiny tent, and it's very cool. Um... Now, if any of these blocks break within um, and are not replaced within two minutes, the whole thing will disappear. So you'll have to make yourself a new tent. But right now, here is our cool little tent. And if we right, uh, we go over here, right click, it says how to pack tents. Sneak and interact with this book in your tent while close to it to pack the tent. Also, this is a white tent. You can color it uh any of these different colors so let's go ahead and color it the red grab ourselves some red dye Oop, that's not red dye and we'll walk over to it right click again we'll go like this and here but it looks the same yeah once you re set it up it changes so we'll go sneak right sneak yeah sneak come on come on there we go gotta be closer to it now when we throw it out and we set it up there you go it's red very very cool and you can change it to any of these colors at any time but you may notice here we have this thing uh, that called a starter tent so what we have is a starter tent um and we have a little barrel here we have a bed you can sleep in you can set your respawn point whatever um let's just grab a few things because this is this is the cool part about this uh if we open up our barrel and we put some stuff in here and say hey we're just storing some stuff that we got along our way uh and it's in this barrel now we're going to walk over here we're going to pack up the tent well where'd our stuff go it's still in the tent yeah yeah it's still in there watch this watch come on no i want i want to can i please pitch the tent thank you bam look at that it saves your stuff in the barrel now let's say we want to upgrade from the starter tent to the small tent well that's going to take two things first off it's going to take copper so we get ourselves a little block of copper but when you upgrade from the starter tent to any other bigger tent you need nails in order to pitch your tent and in order to get nails you need this crafting recipe right here. You've got your raw copper, your sticks, and then your regular copper. So we're going to grab that, head over to the crafting table right here, throw them in in the proper order. And as you can see, each one of these is crafting up eight tent nails used when pitching a tent. So let's just craft up a bunch because I'll end up using quite a few. And then we'll head over here. We'll just put the rest in here. Why don't we we'll just put the rest in there? That's a great idea. Uh, we'll go and we'll select, okay, we want to go to the small tent. Just click that. 
Now, next time we pitch this tent, it's going to be a small tent. Now, if you look, I've got three stacks of this. We're going to hop over into survival, so we actually use stuff up. And we'll pack up our tent. It is right here. Let's throw it out. Now, as you can see, the, uh, the particles here are a lot bigger. <laughs> Way bigger than we had before. So let's go ahead and interact with it. And now, I am stuck. I got stuck right here. Excuse me. I, can I... Thank you. Let's try that. Let's try that again. Can, can we? There we go. There we go. So now we have a small tent, which looks quite amazing. Much different from what we had before. Now we have two barrels, which this one has our stuff in it. This one is empty. We also have a furnace. So we can cook stuff, our own crafting table, along with a bed. And if you notice, I have now lost some of my tent nails. Yeah, it took tent nails in order to pitch the tent and every single time you pitch the tent it takes up more nails so if you're going to be traveling a long ways you're going to want to uh actually no it didn't take up 16 it took up eight because i pitched it twice and there you go it does eight more uh every time you pitch it it's going to take up eight nails so you're going to want to bring along the stuff in order to make more nails or else you're going to have to go get them yourself but that is really cool now we want, might want to go let's go back into creative mode and get the next larger uh, next larger tent. I believe that was five iron. Yep, yeah, five iron. And we can get ourselves a medium tent. So there we go. We'll go over here, pack it up, throw it out. Now, I did not mention this earlier, but it does have collision detection uh, to see if there's anything in the way. Because you don't want it you know, erasing stuff. So let's go ahead and spawn it in. And now we have a medium tent, which is even larger than before. Looking quite amazing. We got a little bit of a loft bed here, a crafting table, you know, books. We've got our own blast furnace. We still have our furnace, and then all of our stuff is in our barrel. And then we have this barrel here, barrel here. So you got three, bar four barrels, five barrels. <laughs> you got barrels all over the place. You can store stuff and uh, looking pretty awesome. But let's not stop there. Let's go ahead. Oh, hold on. I don't think I showed how many nails that took. Now, the first one we did took eight every time. Now, we have 24 in that first slot. Let's go ahead and right-click. Oh, wow. So, that one took 16. So, twice as many to get this big tent. Go back into creative. Get our gold blocks because it takes 10 of those to upgrade to the highest tier of tent. We will go down here. Now, you can go smaller if you really want to. And uh, you're st if you have more barrels, it's going to save your stuff until you get back up to this size. Uh, but it will you know, reduce what you can actually access to just the one. Uh, fun fact, I, I read about how um, I'm a little high did this. And basically, there are donkeys that are in the world that they, they have chests on them and it's storing all your stuff into the donkeys and then putting it back. And I think they're stored like 500 blocks up in the air, uh, right at right at zero, zero. So it's kind of interesting, but also don't fly up there and get the donkey, that'd be kind of weird. All right, let's go over here. We'll get the large tent and then we'll pack it up, throw it out. And as you can see, this one is even larger than any of the other ones. Obviously, it should be because it is a large tent. Stone cutter. We got ourselves a smoker, blast furnace, four barrels there, another barrel. We have an actual chest, another barrel. So you can see the size of this thing. Did that? I don't remember if it showed how many uh, nails it took. So I've got 40 right now. Let's go ahead and do. Oh, nope. Threw it. Can I, there we go 40 so it took 32 so it's doubled again so it goes 8 16 32 oh and you even have an under chest that's pretty amazing and oh and the stone um not stone cutter uh the uh, grindstone so it's got a lot of things that you can use but it's looking absolutely amazing i love this the design is cool but the idea is cool it's you know i'm going out into the world and i'd like to be able to do some adventuring i don't want to come back right away and I don't have, you know, a lot of shulkers and stuff. So I can actually use this to go exploring. Night comes. We can put down our tent. We can sleep. Or if, you know, you want to keep going. But you have a place to store your stuff, cook your stuff. It's really, really, really cool. 
and I love this data bag. This is this is amazing. I I think this one's really cool. It would be great for you know single player worlds as you're trying to leave your base and go exploring and come back. Great for multiplayer survival worlds. Uh, but like I said, you know some people might think it's a bit much that you can create this at any time, and it's not that expensive either. I mean, look at this. That doesn't cost that much, but uh, it's very very cool and it's a great concept. This is a awesome and if you guys want to try out this data pack for yourselves a link to the planet minecraft page will be down in the description you can download it throw in your worlds play around with it it is pretty stinking cool and if you enjoyed today's video please leave a like consider subscribing turn on those notifications you can follow me on twitter you can join my discord channel hope to see you guys in the next data pack showcase until next time